In this video, we're going to be talking about the truth about home warranty companies. We're going to be talking about whether or not they're worth it. Do they actually cover anything? What's covered? What's not covered? And I'll also share some of my personal anecdotal experiences in dealing with warranty companies. And I'll tell you whether or not we deal with them and what our experience has been. Before we get started, if you haven't done so already, please make sure you smash that like button for the algorithm and consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't done so already. We put out daily and weekly content on how you can get the best HVAC for your home. So if that's something that interests you or you you're in the market for HVAC system replacement. That's exactly what we talk about on this channel. And it's a free way that you can support the channel if you get value from this content. So first off, let's talk about home warranty companies in the context of HVAC system replacement and repairs. Now, if you've ever bought or sold a home, you've probably ended up with a home warranty company because there might've been a repair that was needed or there might've been some repairs done. And as a stipulation of the contract, they recommended or they said, hey, we're gonna include a home home warranty company. Hey, we're going to include a home warranty company for the next year. So that way you don't have to worry about the fact that the air conditioner is 20 years old or the oven is 20 years old or everything else in the house is old and might break. So you've ended up with this home warranty company. And if you talk to anyone that's had a home warranty and you can let me know what you think in the comment section below, if you've had an experience working with a home warranty company, in general, the consensus that we've experienced is that they're kind of like the cheapest health insurance companies out there times 10. So imagine if you needed a new liver or you were going to die and your doctor called them and said, hey, Bob needs a new liver. It's going to be $100,000. We're going to have to overnight this liver or however they transport livers. Organ transplant coordinators, you can probably chime in on how that's done and how much that costs. But anyways, it's going to be about X, Y, Z. And then the insurance company came back and said, yeah, just tell Bob, how about you just clean the liver instead and we'll give you $50 towards that. And they're like, no, I don't think you understand. Bob's going to die if we don't give him a new liver. We need a new liver. Liver, we need it now we have a new liver that matches it's going to be a hundred grand and they're like well and then you know there was back and forth on this it would be kind of ridiculous right getting that approved but that's exactly how a lot of home warranty companies work in my experience is that they want to do the cheapest possible repair when you're working with them and that's number one and i understand that because they're an insurance company and so they're there to just kind of get you up and running right this is a warranty on a product um, they have no interest in putting in the best product or whatever but they're looking for the cheapest possible fit which the next point about home warranty companies is oftentimes they only work with select vendors. So for example, if you called and you wanted to work with us, but we weren't set up with your home warranty company as an authorized vendor, which we probably aren't because we don't work with home warranty companies outside of the context of certain home warranty companies, which I'll talk about in a second, then what you'll find is that that home warranty company is going to want to send out their own vendor. Oftentimes their own vendor is booked out or the vendor will come out and then there's a lot of back and forth where they don't get an approval on the spot. They don't fix it on the spot. They say, okay, we're going to have to call the home warranty company for approval. And it basically creates a lot of back and forth. And it's really just ultimately waste your time, waste the technician's time, waste the company's time and becomes very costly from a time perspective. And let's say they come out and then this kind of brings me to my third point. And let's say the system is 20 years old and it has a seized compressor. What they might do is drag their feet, authorizing a replacement compressor when really a system that old with a failed compressor should just be replaced. Well, if you go to replace the system and they are going to cover any amount of that, it's definitely not going to be the full amount, usually, not in my experience. So they might give you a partial credit or a partial coverage towards that. But they're also not going to cover or provide you with any sort of options. They're just going to give you the cheapest possible equipment that they can get their hands on. And that's going to be what's covered through that home warranty. And anything else is going to be an upgrade on your own dime. So in case you haven't paid picked up on the tone of home warranty companies and my experience in working with them, whether or not we think it's even worth having a home warranty. If you do the math on how much that home warranty costs on an annual basis and how much they actually cover, in my experience, it's really not worth it. And the biggest reason is, is because a lot of times these home warranty companies don't work directly with the provider that you work with. There are a few exceptions to this where they'll allow you to choose a provider and then they'll just reimburse you. But most of them only work with their preferred vendors. And so it becomes something where you're kind of limited in who you can see or who you can have diagnose your system, which for a lot of people is frustrating because they want the power of choice when it comes to choosing who their HVAC provider is. So that being said, let's say you're in a situation now where you have a home warranty company, you have a system that is out, you're trying to get this warranty covered, what should you do? Now this is kind of a sticky situation to be in and it really depends on the home warranty companies because they varied across the board. I've heard some are okay.
okay about covering repairs. Others are terrible and just will drag their feet forever until you get so frustrated that you just pay for it out of pocket. And they'd rather just pride themselves on having a terrible reputation and not covering things versus actually trying to cover any of the repairs because it's going to save them money on repairs in the long run. And they just have very short-sighted thinking when it comes to taking care of the customer and customer service. In this particular situation, I would see if you have the option to choose a particular HVAC provider of your choosing or if they're forcing you to go with their own vendors. I would find out what the time frames are for how long it's going to take you to actually get the repair done and make sure that you just know and are prepared for it to be a process because I've heard them take a month to replace the system in the middle of summer or some of them have been good about authorizing a repair within a day and getting someone out quickly. But that's normally very rare in my opinion and in my experience. So if you enjoyed this content and you found this helpful, uh, please make sure you smash that like button and consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't done so already. In a sh few moments, there'll be a few videos popping up on the screen that YouTube thinks you should watch. But before that, if you happen to be in one of the markets that we service and you would like to work with us, there's actually a link below listing the markets and areas we service as well as a link to schedule online. And if you're outside those markets, but you would like to be connected with a contractor in your area that specializes on the specific type of equipment that you're interested in getting installed, we actually have a program in soft launch. It's in a beta mode right now where we're actually pairing homeowners with contractors in your specific area. And this is just something that we launched. Uh, it's on the hvacdopeshow.com, which I've made sure to link that in the description as well. And if you fill out an inquiry there, we'll actually pair you with a contractor. There's zero cost to you, so it's completely free. And we will find a contractor that happens to be in your area that works on the specific type of equipment that you're interested in. So again, both those links will be in the description for your convenience. And as mentioned earlier, there's a few videos popping up on the screen right now that YouTube thinks you should watch. So make sure you check those out if you haven't done so already, and we will catch you on the next episode.